the brand new for 2024 lineup of Tech Tech Pro Series just dropped. And I just got in a Sonic Finesse graphic. This is one of the four graphics that just came out. This is the second generation of Tech Deck Pro Series fingerboards. The first one came out last year. And in this video, I'm gonna be opening it up as well as checking it out and seeing what updates and any upgrades that they've made to the board or the parts on the board. So far, it looks pretty much like the same. However, really quick, just looking at the pictures, it does look like they might've changed the wheels. But these are the four graphics. They've got a Santa Cruz, April board, finesse element. I think all four of the graphics look really nice. And then on the side, it shows some of the features with the bearing wheels, performance trucks, as well as foam grip tape. The top of the box just has the Tech Tech Pro Series logo on it. And then the bottom has some more information. For the most part, the packaging is identical to last year's lineup of Tech Tech Pro Series. Without any further delay, I'm gonna get right into the box. And just like last year's lineup, the Pro Series comes in a wooden box, which I think Tech Tech did a great job. It is a display case as well as when you flip it over, it can be used as a fun box. It has some metal grind ledges on there. First impressions right out of the box, the setup looks really nice, super clean, and they definitely changed the wheels. They seem like a harder plastic or maybe polyurethane. The bearings are a little bit on the louder side. But they seem like they have some good free spin. And the Pro Series also comes with a Pro Series T-Tool. I like that the tool is all metal and really nice quality. Closer look at the board itself. The graphic looks really nice and shiny and glossy. And this is a five ply wooden deck. The grip tape has the Tech Deck Pro Series on the top of it. And they used a lot thinner foam grip tape this time around. The trucks seem really nice and solid feeling, and it seems like they use better pivot cups. And looking at the trucks side by side, it looks like they actually did use the same trucks. They just upgraded the pivot cups and bushings, and the new trucks are in silver instead of gold. And looking at the sides of the boards, they're pretty much identical as far as the deck shape goes. It does have a little bit shorter tail, a little bit longer nose, and overall a somewhat medium concave, medium kicks. They use a little bit different type of grip tape. It's about half the thickness. Looking close up at the trucks, it looks like they're using a little bit different style pivot cup, which last year's series had a bit of an issue with the pivot cups breaking or even coming broken. And it looks like they're also using a little bit different style bushing. Overall, looking at these two, the setups seem pretty similar. However, the biggest upgrade that they made this lineup is going to be the wheels. This time around, they went with a harder plastic or maybe even a polyurethane bearing wheel, as opposed to the last series which are a softer, sticky rubber, dual durometer bearing wheel. And these had a pretty big problem with them getting bearing or wheel slip. And for my personal preference, I found the last year's series to be way too grippy. And spinning the wheels, it seemed like they used the same bearings. They seem to have a pretty good free spin and they both spin for almost the same amount of time. All that's left to do is test the board out. And right out of the box, I really like how this setup feels. The shape of the deck feels really nice, and the thinner grip tape gives some really nice board feel. Overall, the wheels feel a lot nicer than the wheels that came on last year's lineup. However, they do not have a lot of grip compared to, say, a standard urethane professional wheel. That being said, I'm gonna give this board and setup a little bit more time to try it out for durability. Let me know if you have any other questions down below but I'll do a further review of it once I get a little bit more time with the board. Thanks so much for watching, and if you did enjoy, make sure to hit the like button as well as subscribe and turn on notifications for my newest videos. And until next time, peace.